What's going on guys, back with another one for you. Today's talk is about the new tune, how much better it is, and where I'm gonna go with the car now. Hopefully, where I'm gonna go with the car now. Um, so, I had issues with Lund, like I told you guys before, I'm not gonna beat this horse, it is uh, it is what it is. I know a lot of people like him, I'm not trying to cause any issues here with them, but um, the issues I was having with my car were definitely something I think that was more personal. Uh, it was, uh, not shifting right at all and it just something they couldn't figure out on data so needless to say i'm happy now it's not so much the car's fault and definitely purchaser's fault it was my fault i think i bought the wrong stall honestly i think i bought too much stall for this car but it is what it is i'm gonna keep this stall and hopefully when i get my uh what's gonna come uh hopefully soon sooner than later hopefully it's uh it'll mesh together better um, I plan on going with a VMP blower. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a Gen 2 or a Gen 3. Um, I'd like to go with a Gen 3R. It would be great. But money-wise, I'm not sure if I can put out that much money right now. Uh, it's like, you know, that's almost half of what this car cost me. So I think I might go with a Gen 2. But we'll see. If I can get a Gen 3, I'd like to really go with a Gen 3. But i got to try to get finances together. And this ain't happening soon. This will happen probably within six to eight months, hopefully. If I can land another good job where I get something big that pays me, I'll... Hopefully be able to get it then. But needless to say, I'm out in the car again today, guys. It's the second day of driving it. Um, second time I was out just playing with it. And it's so much more responsive now. It's it's kind of funny. It's almost like it's went back when I first put the tune on the car before I had the stall in it and the gears. The car would downshift and, and it ran fine. It just didn't make this type of power. The stall, people can sit there and say, and I've had people tell me on YouTube, you don't need a stall, you don't need a stall. Until you get one in your car and you have an automatic and you have a stock car with an automatic and you put a stall in it and see what it does, uh, don't tell me you don't want a stall. Because, I mean, get your car, put a stall in it, and then you come back and tell me that I was wrong. Because I guarantee you a stall in your car, if it's right, now I'm not even saying this one's right for this car, but if you've got a stall in your car and you have an automatic, the difference it makes in the car is night and day. It slingshots you out the hole almost like a stick shift car would. If a stick shift car hooked and everything, this car don't hook for shit on street tires, guys, but I can just tell right now it's, it has that whip effect back into it, and that's what I needed. I, I really was missing that. And sometimes this car did okay on the Luntune, but the shifts, when it would whip me, it would start to bang on the rev limiter, and it wouldn't shift. So this guy had to back off the RPM to where now it's shifting at a lower RPM, but it's able to make the shift. Before, I think, I don't know much about stalls, and I don't understand how it all works, and I don't understand nothing about line pressure and how a transmission actually works, guys. But whatever I can tell you before what was happening is it would go bang, 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 and then wrench light. Or sometimes it would go bang, 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 I'd let out of it a little bit and get back on it and it would make the shift. Something to do with the lockup, I he told me, it's not locking up proper and it might be something wrong in the converter. But right now, since it's backed off a little bit in the RPMs and I'm not making much power up in the higher RPMs like guys think. I know a lot of guys are like, why well, shift my car at 75 and 76? If you look at my graph, the car's making power, but it starts to, it's going like this, 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 and then right when it gets to like 6,900, my graph starts going like this. And it's still going up, but it's not going up like it was. So he has it shifting at 7,000 now in the first shift, and it's great. And I can tell the car still pulls hard, and it's pulling great now. And so, I don't know, I'm not, uh, like I said, I don't know nothing about tunes. I don't know nothing about uh, the whole dynamics of these cars. Um, but to me, it's, it's a great running car now. It feels a lot better. And once I do the cat deletes, which the noise he thinks is coming from my cats. He says the cats are making a lot of noise, he thinks. Um, because E85, I guess, puts like 30% more fuel burning you're burning. And it might be the cats making a noise and not the converter like I thought it was. Because um, it does come from the sides of the car. It does come up like around the doors. So I don't know. We'll see if the cats help the noise. Maybe it won't. But I'm telling you right now that it don't make the noise. When I did it today, I got on it again. And it wasn't doing that, and it wasn't going bang, 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 bang. It didn't do that at all. And I, I mean, multiple times I did hits on it this morning. Or not this morning, but this afternoon after work. Uh, I'm at the bank now. That's why I'm doing this little thing right now to you guys. But this is just talk for me, guys, just so you guys can see that the, the car's a lot better now. Um, I'm a lot more happy with it. And like I said, I think I was always leaning towards a blower before. I was going to go to nitrous. But I think if I'm going to spend the nitrous money, why not just save up another, you know, four or five grand and do the blower, do it do it the way I think it's going to be proper for this car. Um, the power he's telling me he can get with the VMP, the way it's going to pull, uh, he said it's going to be a pretty hard car to touch. Definitely buy another Mustang. So I'm not trying to have the fastest car in town or the fastest car on YouTube, but I'd like to have a car that's making, you know, 
650, 700 wheel horsepower would be nice um, until I get a built motor. And I mean, that's not gonna be for a couple years. I can't afford to build a motor. So hopefully I put the blower on and it don't blow up because uh, I'll be fucked. But that's a talk for today, guys, about the stall and about my opinions on stalls. I've been reading online, guys telling me, and uh, some of these are bigger time YouTubers saying, you don't need a stall in a car like yours and this and that. And some of these guys, um, I don't know. I, I know uh, Blue Collar Daily was in the comment with one of them, BCD. He was in the comment with one of the people telling me that stalls, put your stock stall back in, it'll be faster. There's no way this car will run the track with this car can run with a stall in it. I'll tell you that right now. It might be two, three tenths slower, uh, but it ain't going to run like this car at the track with, with the, the stock stall. There's no way. Uh, I just don't see it. I think that this stall helps this car a lot, and I think it'll help anybody's car. Definitely, if you're making a lot more power than me, it'll help your car a lot more. But you just got to get it to hook, you know. But that's the talk for today, guys. Sorry I rambled there near the end, but I'll get back to you guys later. Hopefully you guys come back for the next one.